Hi Leo, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Leo, let's see how you're feeling now, <clears throat> how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Leo, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. All right, Leo newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Leo, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A this side and person B this side. All right, bottom of my deck, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody wants things to move forward in a positive direction, it seems, even though uh, at one time somebody did feel that their person was not making a decision or not being honest. They probably felt left out in the cold, maybe feeling that their person is just, just not making up their mind or not making a decision. Mm, could have led to one person holding back from the connection, feeling disappointed because I think they really wanted some clarity from the other person as to are we together, are we moving forward in a positive direction, whereas the other person now is uh, actually pretty ready. They are ready to take responsibility. They see this other person as their wish come true. They've uh, thought long and hard about this connection. I think what they figured out is like, yeah, I'm ready now to take responsibility. I want to have this commitment. They want to make things right. Okay, so let's see what's going to happen, uh, Leo. I'm going to clarify all these cards, of course, for you. But first, let's, um, let's ask the universe. Uh, what's happening, uh, universe, spirits, spirit guides? What's happening in this connection for these two to be going through this? Why are these two feeling like this, Leo and their person? What's the deeper meaning behind this, what they're going through right now? All right, here it is. The first card is lessons. Uh, maybe you guys had to learn some lessons from each other, remembering what was learned from the past or learning lessons, triggering each other. Well, that's what soulmate connections are all about. You know, you grow from interacting, interacting with each other. So there could have been some lessons learned by both of you. Maybe one person learned to stand up for themselves or be stronger and the other person maybe realized what was most important. Second card says red flag. Pay attention to the warning signs. Okay, and the third card here says manifesting, making it happen. All right, so maybe one person had to see through the red flags and take a step back, but that's actually led to the other person now manifesting and, uh, you know, setting out to, well, make things right and making it happen. Let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to clarify these cards now. But first, um, before I start clarifying, uh, Leo, let's also do your dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be, and then I'll clarify the rest. Leo and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? All right, let's take a few more Leo from another deck. Leo and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Leo and their person. All right, just a few more Leo from a third deck as well, and then we'll start the reading. Leo and their person spirit. Leo and their person. All right, good to go, Leo. Let's start the reading. And uh, if any of you are looking for personal readings, Leo, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I wish I could apologize. I can never free my soul from your love. Someone like you is hard to find. 
I love you from head to toe. I don't want to let you go. I have many things I want to tell you. I know someday, somewhere, we will meet and be together forever. I never loved them. It was just about the passion. I love you. I tend to look at your social media pages waiting on signs to connect with you. I see you in my dreams, wishing it was a reality. I want to prove my love to you through actions. I don't like it when you ignore me. I believe we are meant to be together. I know I'm the one to blame. I have inner childhood wounds. Sometimes I wish I'd never even met you. I'm trying to be the person you see me to be. I never thought I could be that person. Waiting on you to forgive me. I promise I can change. I keep hearing songs and it always reminds me of you and I. Giving up and leaving just seems so much easier than to deal with any more pain. Right. So, Leo, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start the reading. But first, of course, an angel blessing card for you. Let's see what my angels would like to bless my Leo gang with today. A blessing, maybe guidance, advice, or a message for Leo. Here it is. Retreat. Yep. Maybe it's time to take a step back. Let the other person show up and take action, Leo. Or maybe your person wants to take you on a retreat. That would be exciting. All right. So now we start the reading, Leo. I'm going to start with person A's energy. And uh, newcomers, please remember this is not gender-based. I don't know which side you're on. One side would be you. One side would be the person you're connected to. And of course, this is somebody very strongly in your soul energy. It could, of course, be uh, maybe a love interest, a spouse, an ex, a best friend, maybe a relative or a business partner. Uh, it's a general reading. So you, you'll have to kind of... You'll, it'll click to you. If this is your reading, if you're resonating, you'll know exactly who this person is and which side you're on and which side they're on. All right. So right now for me, I'm going to focus on only one side, which is person A. Once I'm totally done with person A, later we'll go to person B's side. Okay. So person A, let's talk with you first. In your feelings and in your emotions, I have the five of pentacles. What does that mean? Five of pentacles. Yeah, I think person A feels this is already over. They feel that the person was always holding back from them, always making them feel left out in the cold, abandoned, uh, not uh, valued or something. And I think person A is kind of already accepted that the tower has happened and it's over. Uh, they feel that person probably said something which was very, very straightforward. What, what did they say? What's the king of swords? What's the king of swords? That they were not be probably interested in commitment. Or maybe that's the vibe person A got from the other person. That they, they that person was keeping secrets from them or doing something which they shouldn't be. And uh, basically it was feeling imbalanced where, the, where person A felt that, no, my person is not ready for commitment. Uh, it made person A feel very unseen, very unheard, lack of victory, feeling... I thought this was going to be the person who was my soulmate, who was, you know, we are meant to be together. I felt such a strong vibe with them. But then why isn't there any victory? Right? So I think person A kind of has accepted that the tower has happened. All is said and all is done and it's over. Why do you feel this way, person A? Tell me. Two of Pentacles. Why? Because uh, that person was just not making up their mind. Maybe they felt they were being juggled or that person was treating them like an option. Whatever said and, whatever said and done, person A, I think, uh, lost a lot of sleep. They had a lot of sleepless nights, stress, tension, nightmares, maybe went through a major heartbreak, right? Uh, with something that was 
conveyed to them one way or the other by the other person. Uh, it actually through this pain, person A has actually become stronger now. They have regained their power, they've regained their strength, they've become more um, independent, I would say, even though they'd never got the, even though they felt that, uh, even though they didn't get what they truly wanted, I think what person A was really looking for was honesty, for truth, for uh, happily ever after. It, going through this heartbreak of not getting that, I think, has actually made person A know their own value, their own worth and uh, brought a kind of a strength of character inside of them. Right now, person A could be now uh, at crossroads, maybe wondering which direction I need to go towards, what, what should I focus on, maybe focusing on a new life or a new business, <clears throat> interacting with newcomers, new people. Uh, they just felt that, uh, they, I mean, this strength is also, I think, coming out of a place of anger. It's like, yeah, I'm really angry with them, Omkara Taro, because <clears throat> I realize I wasted a lot of time, effort, energy on a person who treated me just like a friend or friends with benefits. And here I was carrying all the emotional baggage of this connection on my shoulders and they never made a decision. They never, never made a choice. So I think person A is kind of feeling it was a waste of time. <clears throat> I need to now stand up for myself and work on my other things and uh, focus on what's next. Yep, strength card clarified by the strength card. It's almost like uh, person A has become a stronger version of themselves. Maybe got their sword up and, you know, I'm going to use my head over heart now. I'm going to be discerning of uh, who I speak with now. I have to protect my energy. Uh, I think person A could have been very, very upset and angry as well because they felt that uh, the other person was just maybe a toxic person or a toxic soulmate who was only thinking about their needs and their wishes and whatever made them them happy and uh, maybe just wanted passion from them or something basically person a says no they were breadcrumbing me omkara taro there was no equal give and take here and that's what's um, propelled me to recognize that this is getting a bit toxic and right now i am shutting the door down because they always made me feel like a loser it was all about what made them happy and not about us all right so Person A, how do you see the connection now? How do you see person B and how do you feel about this connection now? Person A says, I'm actually very disappointed in this connection, Seven of Pentacles, because they never put in the time, the effort, the investment, or nor did they make a choice. Yeah, because I think person A was absolutely sure that what they wanted out of a connection was a Four of Wands. Right. A four of wands is a happily ever after. Let's be together forever and let's celebrate life together. Uh, I mean, four of wands is clarified by the four of wands. So person A was absolutely sure of what they wanted, but they were disappointed because maybe the other person wasn't reciprocating. They were just too slow or things were just too stagnant. Uh, they felt that uh, very inconsistent uh, co conversations were happening, always making person A feel ab abandoned and left out in the cold. So tell me about the four of wands person a tell me about the four of wands i think person a is now person a is actually now uh, focusing on new things it's like yeah you know i wanted this with person b and i still want it but my own karataro i'm still very sure of what kind of life i want but if it's not with them then how about a new person the person A could be actually now talking to new people or trying to find another soulmate or hoping the universe will bring them somebody else and not the same person who's going to bring drama or be a player. Uh, person A is very focused that, you know, I know what I bring to the table. I know I'm kind and generous and all that and I deserve a partner who gives me the same. Uh, I think person A is now, right now, could be looking around or uh, watching out for a brand new soulmate to enter their life because they want to move on. It's like, I'll, go, I'll just go with the flow now and wait, wait, sooner or later. So if I hold my ground sooner or later, the universe is going to send me a brand new soulmate. Okay, so what action person A will finally take? I will open later, Leo. Let's go to the other side and see how person B is feeling. 
So person B, in your feelings, in your emotions, we have an emperor now. What does that mean for you? Um, oh, somebody wants to talk now. They are probably seeing person A very single out there and abundant and beautiful. Maybe, you know, checking out other options or something. Now the other person who's person B, now they're ready to talk. They're ready to talk because they don't want uh, person A to move on towards any new love. Like, I don't want them moving on to do towards new love. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't making up my mind then, but I'm ready to talk to them now because now they've recognized person A to be a wish come true. The one that uh, is their shining star. Yep, now they're ready to talk. It's, I think they've become clear in their mind. The clarity I think that person A was always seeking has come to them now. It's like, oh yes, I've made up my mind. I see person A as my perfect match, emperor to the empress, right? I think this person now, now is thinking of how do I now pull out those swords, the swords that I've plunged into them, I betrayed them, I hurt them, I did all that. How do I now remove all those swords so that we can have happiness once again? Uh, person B is 100% manifesting, big time. They could be in hermit mode right now trying to figure out, pray to the universe to help them to rectify the situation. Okay, so person B, why are you feeling this way? Tell me. Uh, for that we have the hermit again. Okay, so have you learned anything in hermit mode? What have you thought of? Tell me. Oh, I have one more card here which I didn't read. The dialogue message cards. Ah, it says, I just want to die in your arms tonight. <laughs> Okay, so tell me, what have you learnt in this hermit, hermit, hermit mode, hermit here, hermit here. Okay, tell me about that. What, what have you been thinking? What have you been praying, wishing? Have you got any enlightenment? Yeah, I, my God, this is what they've realized. Oh my God, person A is my soulmate. This is my gift from the universe. We are a perfect match. Person B is enlightened now to this connection and I think they do want to step up and prove to person A now that they're absolutely ready for commitment. Okay, so king of pentacles. Yep, that's <laughs> how quickly the card came out. Yeah, person B is hoping that things can move, to a, move on to a positive outcome now. They want to move things forward. They're hoping that, you know, things can be rectified and go in a positive direction. They're hoping to hoping person A, whatever person A has heard or known about them, they are hoping that they can just forget about everything and can't we just transform this connection and have a brand new beginning. Okay, yeah, this person knows they've done a lot of wrong. I think person B knows in their heart that they have done injustice and they probably do want to come towards person A with some kind of an apology. Okay, so how do you see the connection now, person B? How do you see person A and how do you feel about this connection? Uh, justice card. They want to rectify all this injustice injustice that they did in the past for which they have to apologize for. I think they want to now come and apologize and make things right. Tell me about the justice card. Justice card. Okay, so now they are a little stuck. They are a little stuck because they don't know what person A is thinking. They feel a little blocked off. They feel that the other person now has a lot of options out there. What if they have another option now? Right? That's why they're blocking me off. What if they have moved on towards new love? I think this person is kind of stuck here. Yeah, they're at crossroads wondering, what should I do? What, what can I say? How do I express to person A that I love them? Okay, so tell me about the two of swords. Two of swords. No. I think they're also stuck because they know person A is very angry and upset with them. So they could be trying to take baby steps. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're not clear. They're not clear about whether person A is still waiting. Uh, have they healed? Are they still waiting? Are they still stuck on them? Uh, I think 
person B is getting very, very impatient because they want to know the truth. They want to know the truth if they stand a chance or will if they do try, will they, will person A just push them away and say, hey, you know what, I'm not interested. I don't want your cup anymore. Person B is very discontent because now they are ready. Person B says, I am ready now. I'm just waiting for the right time, right opportunity to come towards person A because like I said, in my hermit mode, I have realized person A is, is my soulmate. So they are manifesting this happiness back, that's for sure. They, they know that person A is the one who make, can make all their dreams and wishes come true, but they could be a little scared of taking action right now. Very scared, in fact. So let's see what actions you guys will take then, Leo. I'm going to take another deck for this one. And uh, while I shuffle this deck, my, um, may I please request you, remind you, if you could just tap the like button for me, please, Leo. Helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated to do more Leo readings for you. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. Person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Devil, okay. So person A says, no, this was a toxic connection. Okay, could be very angry still. Let's see. What's the devil as an action? Page of Wands, Queen of Swords, Six of Wands, <laughs> Queen of Wands and the Five of Cups. Yeah, somewhere person A says, I'm doing really well in my own life right now, Omkara Taro. I'm heading towards my own victory, my own joy. I've learned to keep my boundaries up. I'm shining brighter than ever before. Uh, somewhere person A is a bit scared that if person B does approach them now, uh, the worry is that they'll probably do the same thing to me again. I'm vibing so high right now, I've finally healed myself. What if they come back towards me or message me? What if they want to come back in the same vibe of maybe just being a player and push me back to the same dynamic as I was feeling earlier? Feeling left out in the cold, feeling sad, feeling lonely, feeling this, feeling that. So person A is a little scared. They don't want their life to go back into the past chapter where they were always made to feel not good enough it's like i've just kind of gotten out of that okay so makes sense person b action from your end towards person a or otherwise ace of pentacles they have a serious offer though person b wants to come forward with a very substantial offer this is not just like hey let's talk and you know how are you or how's the weather no this is like i'm ready to set down roots Here's your engagement ring or whatever. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles as your um, action. Ace of Wands. Yes, Four of Wands. They're serious about a commitment. Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. This is like, let's live happily ever after. And here's your offer. Please accept. Please give me a second chance. Person B wants a second chance. And this time round, they're very serious. So what's the Wheel of Fortune then? Spirit has come out a couple of times for overall energy for Leo's reading today. What's the Wheel of Fortune? So maybe Person A is retreating back from this connection has actually helped person B to not just learn a lesson, but to be a better version of themselves. Wheel of Fortune, King of Swords, oh, the Tower, and the Three of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune again. I, th I have a feeling things are going to move forward in a very positive direction. I have the Wheel of Fortune uh, again here. I think somebody wants to put in the work. Uh, I think they've had the Tower of uh, Realization. This is person B, I think, who's had, had gone, this tower has shown up twice as well. I think they are now going through the tower of recognizing this, like, clarity has come to this person as to what this connection means to them. I think they do want to work on this connection. And this time round, if they do get a chance, I guess, they will be putting in a lot of work. Maybe in the past, this person was a little egoistic, a pr very prideful, 
didn't see the connection it was always like being playing mind games or my way or the highway but this is something of the past i think now this person has recognized this to be a soulmate bond and they do want to return back now and work on this connection they have a lot of passion for person a even now but yes they also know that if they come back with passion they'd be seen as a player so they are kind of waiting and watching to maybe get a sign from person a who they probably seeing as very happy and very you know doing really well in their life so they are a bit stuck they are a bit stuck trying to figure out the best time or the best way to come forward because they see themselves as the perfect match like this is the king of wands to the queen of wands uh, connection i have a feeling they will try and get in touch at least with a small apology first but behind that apology i think is a big offer for commitment so that's what i have for you leo till next time then love and light take care namaste